There have been numerous cases over many years of weather-related disasters threatening or damaging healthcare facilities and infrastructure they require for continuing effective care. In your view, what progress has been made over the past decade in ensuring adequate power, transportation access, and other infrastructural support to this sector? We know that this is a global issue, and our call in Providence particularly, but I think for all of us, our call to equity really um, makes us want to respond to what we see, what I would describe as inequity in what you just described. So I think, you know, the, the, the canvas is large, what we can do. And we've talked about some of the mitigation efforts. I want to always remind that we need to do that in the face of equity, that we have to solve the problem such that it's fair.